What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to build a conversational chatbot with SwiftUI using ChatGPT. So we did this yesterday with UIKit and by popular demand, we're going to do it in SwiftUI. So before we do so, start by dropping a like down below. I've got two links opened up here. One is a wrapper library from Adam Rush for the OpenAI uh, implementation in Swift and then the other one is the OpenAI developer website where I am going to generate a API key momentarily. Both links are down below in the description. So let's get to it by opening up Xcode, creating a brand new application. I'm going to call this Chat AI 2 and of course today we'll stick with SwiftUI. And let's go ahead and save this to our desktop. Luckily SwiftUI makes everything much more brief so we're going to write far less code than the UI kit video. And let's get the first thing out of the way, which is bringing in the package for uh, hitting the OpenAI API. So we're gonna say file, add package. I'm gonna paste in the link, which I think I've got copied, yep. So there it is, we'll bring this guy on in. Bear with Xcode. I think it's a little faster for me since I already had it uh, in previously. And what we actually wanna do is particularly simple. So I am going to create a view model up here where we're gonna have the actual uh, OpenAI client implementation. So I'll just call this view model, keep everything nice and simple. So this will be an observable object like so. We're gonna want an init in here, of course. And our body in our view, we'll, we'll actually work on this momentarily, but basically we're just gonna show a list of the uh, input text and the response text. Now over here, let's write out our actual view model. We're gonna have a setup function to create the client. And then we're going to actually have a function called send, which we will use to send our request up to the API. We'll get a completion here as well. Let's spell escaping correctly, slightly important. And instead of handling errors, we're just going to keep it simple and get a string back like so. And let's jump on over to the OpenAI website to grab a API key. So back over here, I already have a free account, so I'm just going to generate a new key so I can actually see it here. I will copy it and just hit OK. Now back over here, the first thing we'll want to do is actually import the package we brought in, OpenAI Swift. We're going to create a private instance of the client, which is called OpenAI Swift, optional. And in the setup function, we're just going to instantiate this client. It's going to be OpenAI Swift with the auth token, which is the key I just copied right there. I'm going to collapse this left panel to have a little bit more space. And in here, we can actually make the call. So we're going to say client, and we're going to say send completion. First argument is text. Now there is another argument, which I forgot to use yesterday, called max tokens. And essentially, this is going to be how much the response text will be truncated. So how many characters? I believe the default is 16. I'm going to update it to be 500, which will cover most cases. And here we're going to have a completion handler with a result inside. We'll go ahead and switch on this result. And the case we care about today is the success. To get the output out of the success, we're simply going to say model that choices we'll grab the first one it's text it is nullable because of that first so we'll coalesce it with a empty string and in the failure case we'll just be bad citizens and do absolutely nothing today so go ahead and hit command b to build and run let's make sure our simulator actually shows up here everything's good to go and let's uh, hook this up with our ui so let's see ah we actually forgot to call the completion here let's not forget to do that got that warning popping up Alrighty, so cool, we've got this here. We'll come down into the view here, and the first thing we'll do is create our observed object, which will be our view model, like so. And we are going to have a text field that we will type into, so we're gonna have a text for that. And we're also gonna have a collection of models that we will append to a list uh, as we get you know, responses from the API. So. This will be a collection of strings like so. So cool, looking good. Let's go ahead and actually create a list here. So we'll just do a for each over models where the ID will be self here. We will have string in and simply toss this inside of a text label like so. We'll also want this to be trailing, uh, leading I should say, so it's left aligned. 
And let's see, we'll toss a spacer here and just add a H stack with a text field. I'll say type here, dot, dot, dot. This will be the binding for the state up above of text. Then we'll put a send button right next to it. So I believe I can just do that. Beautiful. So cool, so what do we wanna actually do in here? Well, first things first, when our view appears, we're gonna say on appear, we want to actually just call setup in our view model so we can actually create the clients and pass in our token up here. And then every time the user clicks on the send button, we want to figure out, let's get rid of this here, we wanna figure out if we should send the API call and actually send it. So just to keep our view and our business logic clean, I'll just call a send function and we'll implement that down in here. Alrighty, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the text uh, variable up above is not empty, AKA we have text. If you wanna be even smarter about it, you can trim out the white spaces and if then it's still not empty, we'll send the request. In other words, if the user just hits space a million times, we're not gonna send an API call because that's silly. And after that, what we can do is we want to say models.append, I'm gonna say me with a colon and then the text, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say our view model, we'll go ahead and send a request with our text. Got that response coming back here. And here on the main queue, all we wanna do is, uh, A, we wanna append to models the response, but I am going to say chat GPT, and this will be response like so. And then finally, we wanna reset that text as well, since it's kind of important so the user can keep typing. And actually, that's all you really need to do to get this working. So let's give this a build and run, and let's see this in action. So we see our text field down here, and we're gonna type in, uh, hello, how are you doing? Let's go ahead and give this a send and we should see it appended up there and we should get a response pretty fast. So we see chat, deep, chat GPT replies right there saying today, question mark, I'm doing well, thanks, how about you? So let's give it something a little more complicated. Let's say, what is the healthiest ice cream I can eat? If that's even a real thing. So we'll see our response right there. Well, the question that chat GPT says, Healthiest ice cream that you can eat would be a no sugar added, low fat variety. That doesn't sound like something that I would want, but let's take it a few steps further. Okay, let's see. What is going to be in the next uh, version of iOS? So let's change this to be what features are going to be in the next version of iOS. So let's see what we actually get here. Um, Kind of curious since uh, it probably doesn't know. Oh, cool, it provides a uh, potential feature. So 5G support, clearly that's wrong because we already have that. Improved battery life, pretty generic. Dark mode, we got dark mode years ago. But some pretty cool stuff here. Now, one uh, problem in our implementation of our app here is that this VStack, you probably want to toss into a scroll view. And that scroll view will let you scroll, obviously, with the responses coming back. So that is how you would build a chat gpt ai based application using the openai swift package and swift ui so if you haven't dropped a like yet make sure to do so before clicking away share the video on twitter follow on linkedin if you're into ios swift i've got an exciting giveaway coming up when we hit the 100,000 subscriber milestone so stay tuned for that as well thanks so much for watching i'll see you on the next one